In this video, we are going to implement a Google Suggest Like feature using jQuery UI Autocomplete. When we use Google, you might have noticed as we enter something in the search text box, Google provides a list of suggestions from which you can select a value or even you can enter a string of your own. Here, as I enter JQ, it is giving values like jQuery, jQuery tutorial, etc. As you enter more characters, the suggestions become more specific. If you try to implement this Google Suggest Like feature in your website, just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, it would be really difficult to implement. But with the help of jQuery UI Autocomplete, you can do this simply. So let's see how we can do that. This is the basic HTML page. I have also added correct references to the jQuery UI and jQuery files. These are the jQuery UI files that is .css and .js files and this is the jQuery file. Let me add the title jQuery UI auto complete. I first want to have a text box into which we are going to enter our text and we will see the suggestions. So let me make it simple. We are first trying to provide some baby names as the suggestions. So let me add a text box for that. Input id equal to babies and type equals text. Next, I have to add the script section. Script type equals text or JavaScript. Next, we need to write the document.ready function. So, dollar document.ready within this function, parenthesis and curly braces. Within curly braces, we need to write our code. Before that, we need to have the suggestions somewhere, that is the baby names somewhere. For that, let me create an array where baby names equals, it is an array of names. So, let me enter some baby names here. Aiden, you can enter whatever values you want. Nathan, Emma, Olive, Abel, Anna, Kathy. I have entered a couple of baby names here. Let me save the file. The next thing what we have to do is we need to attach autocomplete method to this input element. That is to this text element we need to call the autocomplete and set the source as the array value. So here dollar I am going to access the input element. How will we access it? We need to use the hash symbol hash because I am going to access it using its ID. So hash babies dot autocomplete. Now I need to set the value of the option source to the name of the array. So here source the name of the array is here baby names. So it is the value baby names. Now let's see whether it is working. Save. This is the file. Refresh. Here you could get the text box. Let me enter a character A. See all the names that have A in it. That is not only that starts with A but also it contains A. A then Nathan, Emma, here it is A, Abel, A, Anna and Kathy. Suppose I enter T, then only those names with the character combination appears, that is Nathan and Kathy. Suppose I click on Nathan, the specific value is entered inside the text box, that is exactly like the Google suggest. Suppose I enter B, then only one name is there that contains the letter B. 
So if I click, it appears. C, cat T, D. Suppose I enter a character with which there are no names. That is F, there are no names. So no list is appearing below the text box. So isn't it very simple? It is very simple to implement a Google suggest like feature using jQuery UI autocomplete. Now suppose you are trying to implement a currency conversion application. That is you want to display the names of the currencies but need the code corresponding code in your application. So let's see how we can get both the values as well as some code. For that, let me change this to currency and also the ID to currency. And you want to see the code or you want to use the code in your application. So let me add a text box where you want to get the code. Code input id equals to code and type equals text. Here I am changing the name to currency and instead of this we want to supply the code as well as the text that should be appearing. So here inside curly braces we need to specify value let the value be USD, comma, label. It is United States dollar. Like this, we can enter whatever currencies you need to have. Next, let me enter INR. Value is INR. And label is Indian rupee. Like this, let me enter some more currency values. Now I have entered a couple more currency values that is Euro, Japanese Yen, Philippine Peso and Arab Emirates Dirham. Now the name is currency and the source is currency itself. What will happen if we check the code now? Let me save it and refresh A. We are getting the name that is the values we have entered in the label. We have value and label and the text in the label is appearing here. See when we enter A you are seeing all the currency names with A in it. Here it is United States dollar Indian rupee. Japanese Yen and United Arab Emirates Dirham. Suppose I click on some value. See, you are seeing the code that is the corresponding value. You are not seeing United States dollar but the value USD. And suppose I enter P and select Indian rupee then INR is displayed in the currency text box but suppose we want to have the name of the currency here and its corresponding code here for our application then how we can do it let's see here this is same but we want to change the default behavior of the select event that is when we click here the label values are appearing in the list but we select a value, its corresponding code is displayed. We want to change the select behavior of the autocomplete element. For that, we have to write select. We need to write a function that will change the default behavior. So, function, we need to pass. What we have to pass? We need to pass event and UI. Event is the event that is getting triggered and UI provides information added using jQuery UI. So here we are going to write the code. First we need to cancel the 
default behavior of the select event so event dot prevent default this will prevent the default behavior next what we want to do we want to display the label in the currency text box and the value in the code text box so dollar this what is dollar this that is a currency text box dot val we, we are going to set the value it will be ui dot item that is a selected item dot label and similarly we want to set the value of the code text box so here hash code and its value will be ui dot item dot value so what we have done we have changed the default behavior of the select event we have first prevented the default behavior using event dot prevent default then we are setting the label in the currency text box we are using this because it is the currency text box itself and dot val to set the value and we are passing the value that is ui dot item dot label that is the label of the currently selected item and dollar hash code that is to select this text box and we are setting its value as ui dot item dot value now let's check before that let me add one more space here refresh let me enter p we are getting indian rupee japanese yen and philippine peso suppose i enter japanese yen see you are getting japanese yen here and its corresponding code that is its corresponding value here that is the label is displayed here and the value is displayed here before implementing this we were getting the code here and we were not getting the label anywhere so like this we can implement the google suggest like feature in our website easily using jquery ui autocomplete now instead of passing an array you can even pass here a string that is instead of source equal to an array name we can also pass a string value that will populate the required result and return it as an json string and you can also pass a function here that will get the required value thus you can get values even from a database or from other sources so it is easy to implement the google suggest or yahoo suggest like feature using jquery ui autocomplete